hello everyone in this video we are going to be taking a look at how to draw share and bending moment diagram so this is going to be example one so we're going to take it examples by examples so in this lesson we are going to focus on example one then in future lesson we are going to take more examples now if you take a look at the screen we have a simply supported beam with a point load 15 kN and this is acting 30 meters away from the support. So as you can see, we have a fish support at point A and we have a roller support at point B. So we want to draw the shear and moment diagram for this beam. Now the first thing you need to do when drawing shear and bending moment diagram, you first need to calculate the support reactions. So at point A, which is the fish support, we are going to have two unknown reactions because this is a fish support. So we are going to have an unknown vertical reaction AY and we are also going to have an unknown vertical reaction AS. So you can assume any direction because we are going to find the values later. So you can assume any direction and if you have a positive value, your assumption is right. If you have a negative value, your assumption is wrong. It is acting in the opposite direction. Then for BY, then for B, as you can see, this is a roller support, so we are going to have just one unknown reaction. So let's call this BY. So now we need to solve for AS, we need to solve for AY, and we need to solve for BY. So this is the first step you need to take whenever you want to draw share and moment diagram. So now let's solve for this. So as you can see, AS is going to be automatically equal to zero because we don't have any horizontal load acting on this beam, we only have vertical load. So AS is going to be automatically equal to zero. So I'm going to say AS is automatically equal to zero. Now let's solve for AY and BY. So now let's solve for BY. To solve for BY, I'm going to take summation of moment at point A equal to zero. So this is going to be summation of moment at point A is equal to zero. And all the movements in the counterclockwise direction is positive while all the moment in the clockwise direction is negative so if we take summation moment at point a equals to zero and we apply 15 kilonewton on this beam and it is acting downward it is going to try to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction so it's going to try to rotate the beam in the clockwise direction like this it's going to try to rotate it like this so because of that it is going to be negative so this is negative 15 kilonewton. So this is the force. So we also need to multiply this by the distance because moment is equal to force times distance. So the distance from 15 kilonewton to the pin support is 3 meters, as you can see. So this is multiplied by 3 meter. Then we have BY. So BY is acting upward. We assume this to be acting upward. So if we apply the force upward with relative to the pin support, it is going to try to rotate this in the counterclockwise direction. So it is going to try to rotate the beam like this in the counterclockwise direction. So, so this is going to be positive because we said any, any movement in the counterclockwise direction is going to be positive. So this is positive BY then multiply by the distance. So the distance from BY so the pin support is 5 meters as you can see. So this is BY, then multiply 5 meters. So we don't have any additional force, so this is equals to 0. So negative 15 multiplied 3, so this is going to give us negative 45 kilonewton meter, then plus 5 meter BY. So we want to solve for BY. So we need to take negative 45, we need to move it to the right side. So we are going to be left with 5 BY is 5 meter by so this is 5 meter by is equals to 45 kilonewton kilonewton meter so the 45 kilo so we have to solve for by so by is equals to 45 kilonewton meter then divided by 5 so this is going to be equal to so if you divide this you are going to get by is equals to 9 meter so by is equals to 9 kilonewton 9 kilonewton so now, as you can see, we are having a positive value for BY. So meaning our assumption is right. This is indeed acting upward. So let's solve for AY. So to solve for AY, we are going to take summation of all the forces in the Y direction equals to zero. 
So I'm going to say summation of all the forces in the y or vertical direction is equal to zero. And we're going to say all the forces acting upward should be positive, while all the forces acting downward should be negative. So as you can see, we assume AY is acting upward, so this is going to be positive. So this is AY. Then as you can see, we are having 15 kilonewton. This is acting downward, so this is going to be negative 15 kilonewton. Then we are having BY, and BY is positive. It is acting upward 9 kilonewton. So this is positive 9 kilonewton is equals to 0. So we're having AY, so negative 15 kilonewton plus 9 kilonewton. This is going to give us negative 6 kilonewton. So this is negative 6 kilonewton is equals to 0. So AY is equals to, so if we move negative 6 kilonewton to the right, we're going to get AY is equals to 6 kilonewton. So this is the value for AY. So now we have AY, we have BY. We have AY is 6 kilonewton. So now we are going to replace this. Then we have also have BY is 9 kilonewton. So now we have the support reaction. We are ready to draw the shear and moment diagram. Now to draw the shear and moment diagram, you need to draw a vertical line wherever you see discontinuity on the beam or whatever you have a support on the beam or whatever you have load on the beam. You need to draw a vertical line. So as you can see, we are going to start from the pin support. As you can see, we have a pin support here. So we'll draw a vertical line here. Then as you can see, we're having a load here. So we're also going to draw a vertical line here. Then for the last one, we're having a roller support here. We also need to draw a vertical line here. So it is going to look something like this for the first one. We have something like this a vertical line then for this we're also going to have a vertical line so you can also uh, draw a dotted line so depending on your choice so you can either draw a straight vertical line or you can draw a dotted and uh, vertical line so for this we're also going to have a vertical line here so the first one we're going to do is the share diagram so the first one is usually the shared diagram so i'm going to represent this using a red marker so this is the share so this is v in kilonewton so now let's draw the shared diagram first so now to draw the shared diagram you are going to be using the load on the beam so now let's take a look at the load on the beam as you can see, for the now, make sure you start from the left edge to the right edge. So we usually start from the left edge to the right edge. So from the left edge, we have 6 kN and this is acting upward. So because this is acting upward, it is going to try to move this 6 kN upward. So we are going to end up here. For example, we are going to end up here. So this is 6 kN. So this is moving it upward. So now we are here. As you can see, from point A, where we move to the right, the load is constant because we don't have any load acting on this uh, acting on this beam that is on this region. So it is constant. So meaning it is we are going to have a straight line because we don't have any load acting on this beam. So we are going to have a straight line till we get to this 15 kilonewton and load, which is acting downward. So from Point A to the 15 kilonewton load, it is going to be constant. So we're going to have a constant uh, shear diagram. So we're going to have a constant shear diagram. So now, when we get to 15 kilonewton, as you can see, we are having 50 kilonewton acting downward. Now, you remember we started from 6 kilonewton, so it's going to be positive 6 kilonewton. So now we are at 50 kilonewton, and this is acting downward. So it's going to be positive 6 kilonewton minus 15 kilonewton because this is acting downward so 6 minus 15 is going to give us negative 9 so meaning we now have negative 9 kilonewton so because we're having negative 9 kilonewton meaning this is going to be so meaning this is going to be downward so it's going to be below 0 kilonewton so it is going to be somewhere here somewhere here we are going to have negative 9 kilonewton so we're going to have negative 9 kilonewton here. So this is the value here. So we're going to have negative 9 kilonewton. So now we need to move uh, forward. 
if we move from this region to the right as you can see we don't have any load here so meaning this uh, share diagram is going to be constant it's going to be constant from this region as you can see it's going to be constant till we get to this region so meaning from this region we are going to have a constant share diagram so it's going to go like this now as you can see we have nine kilonewton so this is um, at uh, the roller supports we have nine kilonewton and this is moving upward so we started from negative nine kilonewton now we are having nine kilonewton moving upward so it's going to be negative nine kilonewton plus nine kilonewton so negative nine plus nine is going to be zero so meaning we are going to stop at zero so meaning this is going to move upward to zero so the zero is going to be this point so it's going to be this point where we started from so this is basically the share diagram now you need to know that whenever you're drawing the share diagram you need to start from zero and you also need to end at zero so meaning the area they need to close up so if you start from this location you also need to end at this location so as you can see because we started from this location and we and we ended at this location meaning our share diagram is correct so this is how you can determine if you drew the share diagram correctly or not if you started from if you start from zero and you ended up at zero meaning your share diagram is correct but if you start from zero and you ended up at let's say 20 kilonewton or 40 kilonewton meaning your share diagram is wrong you need to check your share diagram correctly so as you can see this is going to be the area of the share diagram so this region is a positive region so let me indicate this using positive so this region is a positive and uh, share diagram why this region so this region this is the negative share diagram so this is negative so now we are done with the share diagram so now let's take a look at the moment and um, diagram so i'm going to draw another line here so this is going to be the moment diagram so this is in kilonewton meter because moment is force times distance so now for the moment diagram we are going to take a look at the area of the share diagram so when you want to draw the moment diagram it is usually the area of the share diagram so as you can see this is the area of the share diagram as you can see over here so now for the moment diagram we are first of all going to take a look at this area so this is the first area we are going to take a look at so what is what is this area basically the area is the length times breadth so what is the length as you can see the length is three meters as you can see the length of this uh, rectangle is three meter then the breadth which is going to be the height here is six kilonewton as you can see over here so it's going to be six multiply three which is going to give us 18 so it's going to be 18 kilonewton meter so because this is positive so meaning this is going to move upward because it is positive so take note of that so now this is going to be so we are, we are going to start from zero then we are going to move to 18 kilonewton so this is 18 kilonewton meter 18 kilonewton meter 18 kilonewton meter so this is this point over here so now let's take a look at the second um, area so this shaded area so it is basically going to be the length times the breadth so it's going to be so what is the length as you can see the length is two meter so it's going to be two meter then multiply by the breadth which is the height so it's going to be two multiply negative nine so two multiply negative nine is going to give us negative 18 so it's basically negative 18 kilonewton meter so as you can see we are starting from 18 kilonewton meter and we are having negative 18 kilonewton meter so it's going to be 18 kilonewton meter minus 18 kilonewton meter which is going to be zero so meaning we are going to stop at zero so it is going to be and this is going downward because it is negative so it's going to be zero so we are stopping at zero so we are stopping at this point over here so as you can see we started from zero and we also ended up at zero so meaning your moment diagram they need to close up if they don't close up meaning there is a problem you need to check your work properly so as you can see this is going to be the moment diagram 
So we can shift this up. So this is basically the moment uh, diagram. So this is the moment diagram. So, so as you can see, this is a positive moment diagram because this is above the origin, as you can see over here. So we are having a positive moment diagram. So this is 18 kilonewton meter. And also this is the shear diagram. So we are having a positive and shear diagram on the left side and we are having a negative uh, shear diagram on the right side. Then we are having a positive moment diagram. So this is how you can draw a shear and moment diagram. So we are going to be taking a look at more examples, how you can draw shear and moment uh, diagram. If you have a concentrated load, triangular load, if you have various types of uh, load. So we are going to take a look at this in future videos. So if you watch to the end and you find this video informative, please do not hesitate to subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification icon. Also, like the video and you can also share these videos to friends who have problem drawing share and moment diagram. So this is all I have. Bye-bye.